Hey everybody, Keith Warrell with Outdoors First Media. Today we're getting ready to hit the water, doing a little river fishing. We put the Golden Hawk in here. There's a really shallow creek here that we got to get through. It's only about 100 yards and we can get out to the, the main river. What we're going to be doing is fishing, uh, looking for spots where there's any kind of slow moving water pools is what we're looking for today. We're going to target, we're targeting uh, pike, muskies, and smallmouth. Curve and bends up here where there's good boulders. You'll probably see us catch a few smallmouth on those, and the long stretches that are a little bit deeper, two and a half, three, four feet of water, that's usually where we catch our pike. So we're going to be pitching spinner baits, some twitch baits today, maybe some small suics. Get out on the water and catch some fish. Smallmouth's got to be right off the rock. Sweet. Right behind the boulder, that's right where they're supposed to be. There's a big log that comes out in between there. Did you see that? There might be another one underneath that. I can't do anything with them because I only got eight pounds, I think, on here. Rod's too long. I can't freaking get him close enough to me in the in the canoe. Nice, dandy. There it is. That's what we're after. Right there. That's why you go on the rivers. Not a lot of people get out and go after these kind of fish, and they don't get fished hard, so. They usually will hit the first bait that goes through. Caught that on a baby suic thriller. These things are awesome. Great lures. Some giant boat. Oof. There's a good pike. <laughs> Coming right at me. <laughs> he just smoked it too. Did you see that? Hammered it. Snoopy rod's holding up. Yeah, the rod's got plenty of backbone, it's just light line on it, you know? Yeah, you don't want to horse them with light line. And I think it's wrapped around him too, I don't think it's... It is one loop. Yeah, it's around his left side. Oh, that's a, that's a nice pike, I didn't think it was that big. Yeah, I got a good look at it. It's in the 30s. Gill, it's wrapped under his gill plate too, that's not good. He's been going around the Oh yeah, it is. Maybe I can get it underneath him. Nope. I don't want to break them off. You can see the line is already starting to be frayed right, right, right around his gill wedge. Yeah. Come on, buddy. He's like, what? What is going on here? I just went and ate this minnow like I always do. And it starts fighting back. <laughs> wow, he didn't like that idea. You need face loss for that. Yeah. You want to see it? Suic filler, man, has got him. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Nice pike. Look at that. River fishing, boy. Don't get much better than that. Awesome. <laughs> Right in the center too. He was right in the middle of the channel. Came up and just smoked it. Yeah. Give you an idea of, of one of the baits that we're throwing today. We're throwing spinner baits and this is the small suic thriller. It's been doing really well. We've got uh, one nice pike and pretty good smallmouth on it already. Hooks up really nice. And I was, like I was talking earlier, right now we're fishing in a really long run here goes 200 yards and it's about three and a half four feet deep in the center and that's where those big pike like to hide on these rivers in the summertime so we'll keep on going and see if we can't catch some more there he is. got him out of there you see that three pops and he came on and hit it <laughs> Big smallmouth too. Oh yeah. 
That's a good one. It's a dandy. <laughs> I knew there was one in there. <laughs> Had to be. I gave that bait three little pops and he just came up and smoked it. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Come here, buddy. Come say hi to Papa. Can't really whip them with a suet in their face. End up with a suik in the hand. Right. Another good one, huh? Come on. You tell me there's no pike in here? I refuse to believe that. Oh, there's a good fish. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. And twice. I don't know, he left a heck of a swirl. He's got a big head shakes too. Really big head shakes. Big pike or a musk? Big pike. Big, big pike. I better sit down. No, I just don't want to tip us. He decides to run. It's a big pike. It's bigger than the one. Bigger than the other one. Fish. Two nice pike today. Man, a couple big smallmouth. He's finally, he got eaten by a fisherman. It's his turn. I, I think I just said, I, I said I refuse to believe there's not big pike, and then poof, right on that cast. There you go, buddy. We'll get bigger. Oops. Ah, crap. First one got his attention. There he is. Got him? Yep. Nice. Smallmouth. All right. <laughs> Smoked it too. First one got his attention. Second one. Yep. Gave him a. I think all he wanted to do was resituate himself, turn himself around so he could hit it. Yeah. He was ready for it. Yeah, you're getting them on that tackle industry's kids' musky rods. <laughs> Didn't really uh, have much of a chance. Nice. 